Welcome to Lowkey PD. In this video, we're going to explore how to find your Google Jamboards. If you've navigated to jamboard.google.com, you have a number of options available to you for finding your Jamboards. The most basic one is to just search for them in the search bar. If you happen to know the title of the Jamboard or maybe a few words that appear in the title or even in the Jamboard, uh, you should be able to find them using the search mechanism at the top of the page. But you have other options as well. For example, on the right hand side you can filter by who owns the Jamboard. Owned by anyone, that could be a Jamboard that is shared with you. Uh, owned by me, those would be Jamboards that you yourself are the owner of, typically meaning that you are the one who created them. Or specifically, Jamboards that are not owned by you. Or you can refresh the page if you are just expecting to get rights to that Jamboard. You can list uh, or sort your Jamboards by a, a number of different criteria, last opened by me, last modified by me, last modified at all, or by title. So let's say we list them by title. I can also change the view here. So right now it's in row view, or it's, it's in list view. If I change it to row view, right, notice I get one Jamboard and all of the different frames are presented side by side. And if I keep scrolling, I can actually get to each frame. I get to see the entire frame. Every Jamboard takes up pretty much the entire width of the screen. All right, or I can go to grid view where I just have that uh, one little frame for that Jamboard. But notice I can still toggle and scroll between the different frames while I'm looking at it because maybe I'm looking for a Jamboard that contains a specific frame. It might not be the first frame in the Jamboard. And these are all good skills to have because if you go to Google Drive and you are searching for a Jamboard, if you don't know where that Jamboard is, maybe you created it but you didn't create it in the place that you wanted to, to keep it, when you click in Google Drive, in that little search bar, if you click on the file type, notice that Jamboards is not one of the options. So you cannot quickly find Jamboards using search in Google Drive unless you maybe used the word Jamboard uh, in the title or somewhere else in that Jamboard so that maybe Google Drive search would pick it up, but it's not immediately an option here. So finding Jamboards from your Jamboard homepage is actually quite efficient and very effective. You have a lot of different ways to find them. Finding just straggling and lost Jamboards in Google Drive is quite a predicament if they're not stored where you intended to keep them. So those are your options in terms of uh, finding Google Jamboards that you have created. Maybe you want to reuse them, tweak them a little bit, uh, but that is how you would go about finding them. 